Hello and welcome to Unit 4. In this unit, we will have a look at how cloud integration and monitoring are used for B2B integrations. In this session, I would like to give you an overview about the two remaining components of cloud trading partner management, which is the underlying runtime, the so-called cloud integration, and B2B monitoring. The cloud integration is responsible to hold and dynamically process the configured B2B scenario transactions with one integration flow. It is also to designed to, uh, to include source and target interchange B2B format supported within trading partner management. The generic integration flow using cloud integration. It is designed to hold B2B formats from integration advisor, as well as also to process the whole configuration which we designed in trading partner management. The generic integration flow is based on three parts. The step one, which is the sender communication flow. This is a flow per adapter type, per communication protocol, which means we support already the ES2, SOAP, IDOC and additional adapter types, which will also then come in future releases. You can already then consume and configure those, and this will be then also then processed in this step one. This also receives the data from the sender, extracts this sender interchange header data. We will see also the details, what are the header data which we then use for certain processing in the runtime, and also hands over all these informations to step two. The step two interchange processing flow gets the necessary parameter values, as well as also the binaries from partner directory. The binaries in this case would be also then the integration advisor artifacts, as well as also then extractions and assembly information, and extracts the data in step one, processes source into target interchange format, which we already then referenced from integration advisor, assembles also the target interchange as well as then hands over to step three. The step three is the receiver communication flow, where we send the information to the receiver via the defined adapter. Here at this part, the adapter types are also then configurable in trading partner management. We will also then see in the later sessions, as well as in week two, how you can define, maintain the specific ad adapter types and what are then the parameters you would need to then consider to be able to then also process those. The generated artifacts from integration advisor are only referenced here in trading partner management. And once then the whole scenario is activated, we will also then see the details later how this looks like. Then the artifacts will be then pushed towards the partner directory, which includes also then the binaries. And it includes for sure the interchange relevant information. So the source and target message implementation guidelines. We will see the details, how it looks like, as well as also then the mappings. The partner directory is an integrated part of integration suite and cloud integration. The partner directory enables the dynamic parameterization of integration flows. It allows also to create one integration flow with dynamic processing based on the invoked parameters related to a specific partner ID. The partner, the parameters can be created and updated and deleted via REST-based APIs. In this case, you may also then use this in additional general toolings uh, like the Postman just for testing purposes. But we also then use it for B2B scenarios and especially the trading partner management system consumes all the data which is then pushed towards trading a partner directory. The partner directory data, what we have is the trading partner ID which is in this example, let's take then the TP underscore two. It has a dedicated pa parameter ID, which is in this case, the uh, communication standard, which kind of type system we use with the attribute value edifact. In this case, it means the TP underscore two partner ID uses the standard edifact type with the communication type SOAP. The configuration, what kind of communication adapters and what kind of standard formats you can configure and use. This is already maintained in trading partner management uh, system and the drop-down menu offers you a complete list of 
the type systems we support, as well as also the communication type and related adapters. We will also then see later on in the un as next units how you can modify and define all those parameters. The, the partner directory integration flow gets the PD data, so it provides parameters into the camel, camel header exchange properties, as well as also using the PD uh, data to provide also uh, the camel header properties for further processing. The trading partner management activation holds the complete configuration which was maintained for a B2B scenario. This will be pushed into the partner directory as mentioned before. The partner directory is an integrated part of integration suite and integration, cloud integration. So we use it in this case as a so-called repository. So in this depiction, it means that we do have a business activity transaction. In our example, this is then the uh, purchase order request, which was sent um, towards the trading partner. It holds then one kind of um, integration agreement process, which leads to five partner directory entries in this example, which means three per business transaction activity, for example, for purchase order request in this case, as well as two interchange envelope extractions at the communication center, in this case, a SOAP or an AS2. The partner directory entry, as mentioned already then before, it is a so-called PID which has also additional um, exposed um, binary parameters as well as string parameters. The binary parameters could be also an integration advisor runtime artifacts. The string parameters can be a receiver interchange or any kind of configuration we would uh, need to then consider for a certain activity. The interchange extraction in step one is the sender communication and the business transaction activity covers step two and three. Let's have a look how we actually then use uh, certain parameters um, and how to identify the appropriate processing instructions to be able to then consume the data and then process it through the runtime. In step one, uh, provides and extract the required interchange header parameters, what we mentioned already then before. What are these interchange header parameters? For example, the B2B document standard. The document standard, what we already then configure and maintain in trading partner management. As mentioned before, we support already a list of standard type systems, for example, ASC X12 or UN Edifact, or even also de facto standards like the homegrown ones, SAP IDOC or SOAP. We also need additional sender identifiers and receiver identifiers from the header parameters as well as also then message type. The message type in this case, in our example, was a purchase order. It means we need those informations to be able to then extract these settings as well as then process it later on and send it towards to the next step. The next step is actually the step two, which calculates the partner uh, ID based on the extracted parameters from step one. In step three, it invokes the parameters with the calculated partner ID from the partner directory. You see in this depiction how many um, items are um, dedicated to a certain entry. The partner directory visibility is also then exposed within trading partner management. We will see this also later on in an example, how this looks like, how you can drill down the details and how it is exposed in trading partner management to navigate back and forth for a certain agreement. Let's have a look what the B2B monitoring offers in the whole solution, which is responsible to show the B2B transactions at runtime in alignment with trading partner management data and exposing it in a consolidated manner. As such, part of the underlying runtime solution and it's already integrated and built in in integration suite, there is a dedicated monitoring on top of the technical monitoring logs. It's a so-called B2B monitoring section where you have all the details regarding of your agreement. The monitoring scenario um, offers you the processing results of the process steps from the generic integration flow. It means it holds the information from the step one, from the sender communication, 
from step two, from the interchange processing, and from step three, the receiver communication, as well as also hold sender system, receiver system based information. It also has the company and trading partner related information in form of the systems from sender receiver, as well as the results per interchange ex uh, exchange. The data you can easily then drill down and you can filter. So let's see what kind of filter options you can have in this certain view. You can filter on based on processing status. You can filter on the message types. You can send, filter on sender receiver information, as well as you can also then navigate to a detailed view in the lower part, where you see then also then the details of a single interchange. So in this detailed view, you, once you then select it from an overview list, you see then also on the right hand side, all the details relevant for the certain interchange. For example, the B2B standard format, it is an Edifact or an Edifact or an X12 or SOAP and an IDOC or the particular message type used in this transaction, for example, a purchase order. You also then see the collection of the processing events. So you have uh, on the lower part always a reference to the technical events supported where you can easily then navigate to the message processing logs, which is also part of the integration suite. You have also the possibility to export even the overview list as well as also the individual information for a certain message. So the so-called payload information, it's also visible and exposed so that you have the option to see the processed messages and also the content of the payload, you can easily download this for further processing. The key takeaways. Benefits of one generic integration flow. A detailed overview of deployed artifacts via the exposed partner directory user interface. The optimized and consolidated view of messages processed within the B2B scenario as well as a detailed view of operations and root cause analysis in B2B monitoring. With that, we come to the end of this unit. In the next unit, I will present the course scenario for the coming course weeks. Thank you.